What's up, America? Mr. G here with you with your weather forecast. Happy Thursday night, everyone. Tomorrow is Friday. We're going to be talking about your Friday weather and get you ready for your Saturday and your weekend. So let's jump right into our weather today. And in our weather today, right now, we're going to take a look at the live radar or satellite first. I guess the satellite's up. And this is what's going on out there. We have that storm out toward the Midwest. We have an upper level storm system there. And we have another one in the Northeast. And there is our hurricane Fiona down there out in the Atlantic, just north of Bermuda right now, and is headed towards Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, Canada, where they are going to have a once in a lifetime event there where that hurricane is going to make landfall as a category one hurricane, going to be a historic event for those folks and some of the people living out there probably don't know or haven't dealt with a hurricane before, but they're going to deal with this one. And we have another one, another tropical depression out there or tropical waves that's going to be forming into a depression and eventually a tropical storm or hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. We have our monsoons down in the southwest and we have some snow in the mountains there in Utah. Here we are to take a look at our radar right now here's our other frontal boundary in place there are some showers and thunderstorms along this front and we have our area of low pressure providing some more showers across the northern rockies rain showers in the northeast and we're seeing that rain showers with our front down the east coast here so there's some more showers there and some scattered showers down here in florida and over portions of the gulf coast as well here we are to take a look and your temperatures this evening, it's hot down here across Texas and in the Gulf Coast. This is where our 90s are across South Texas here in the Southern Plains. We have our 80s in the Southeast and down in the state of Florida. Uh, some more 80s over here in the Southwest. Cool weather in the Northern Plains, in the Northern Rockies there. We're seeing temperatures in the 40s in Northern Idaho and portions of Montana. And we're seeing those 50s and 60s through the Rockies as well. And we have our 60s through the Upper Plains in the Upper Midwest here and the Great Lakes, more 50s. And we're also looking at 50s and 60s in the Northeast. So uh, very cool across the Northern half of the nation. And the only real warm spots is very far South here, Texas and along the Gulf Coast and the Southeast there. Here we are to talk about our severe weather and there is no severe weather to talk about tomorrow. We do have some areas that will deal with some thunderstorms. We have our monsoons here and a little bit of stormy weather here across the northern plains. And some more scattered thunderstorms down there in Florida. But no severe weather at this time for tomorrow. And very little severe weather for Saturday. We have this area just here in the Ozarks where we could be seeing a marginal risk for some severe thunderstorms and you guys are going to be dealing with some gusty winds primarily and some small hail that potential exists there for your saturday and that is it for severe weather let's talk about the tropical outlook now the tropics is going to be uh, pretty interesting coming up here over the next week or so so we have to worry about Hurricane Fiona out here in the central, in the east western Atlantic, just off the east coast there, and it's going to be moving off to the north northeast, where it's headed towards Canada. And we have our another tropical uh, item of interest right here that's going to be developing into a tropical depression, and that is going to move into the Gulf of Mexico and become potentially Hurricane Hermine. Hermine. I think it's Hermine or Hermine, but it's Spanish, so I'm going to go with the Hermine, with the, the Spanish-style pronunciation. So we're going to be seeing that. It's going to be our next hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. I think it's going to have a site set somewhere in Florida, I think from Tampa, St. Petersburg, to as far west as the extreme western Florida panhandle near the Alabama border in Mobile. So... Um, that's where that guy could potentially end up, and it could potentially become at least a Category 4 hurricane. That would put it at major 
hurricane status. So now as we take a look at the Atlantic, at the, at, no, not the Atlantic, the Pacific. Here is Newton. This is a tropical storm out there. He's not going to be threatening anybody, and it's going to be out there at sea mostly. It's going to move off into the west. All right, here we are with a look at Fiona right now. We got a beautiful eye wall and, and circulation, a lot of convection down here to the southwest of the eye, and we see a nicely tightly formed eye as it moves slowly to the north and east there. And here we are as we take a look at her track. And this is the track for Hurricane Fiona as Fiona makes her way up towards Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, and it'll be there by this weekend. We already have tropical storm warnings or watches posted here for uh, portions of Canada there, so we already have those watches for tropical storm, and we're eventually going to have a hurricane warning or watch posted for that region, as it's going to be expected to make landfall there either sometime late Saturday and early on Sunday, so um, we're going to be watching out for that. And probably by then, our tropical storm will be headed toward the Gulf of Mexico, and it's going to be strengthening as well, Hermine, for um, for for your information there. And here we are with the forecast for the strength of Hurricane Fiona. Right now, it is a category for hurricane. Those winds are at least 140 miles per hour, but as we move through the next 48 hours, we're going to see that drop down to tropical storm, tropical storm strength. So those winds are going to drop back down to about 40 miles per hour as it moves across northern, northeastern Canada and the maritime islands out there. Here is a look at Invest 98L. This is going to be our new hurricane here eventually. This is going to be Hermine once it gets developed there. And it is a tropical a tropical wave out here over uh, the Southern Caribbean, just off the coast of South America. we got Colombia and Valenzuela down here. And it's going to be moving to the west, northwest slightly. And it's going to be remain over open water where it's going to have plenty of time and room to further develop and it's going to move into very favorable conditions as we have a very large area of high pressure over the Gulf of Mexico which tropical systems really like because it's very calm it's not going to deal with a lot of shear it kind of has a lot of shearing right now so it doesn't look that impressive impressive but believe me it has excellent low level circulation going on but you can't see it because of all of this convection but here we are and that's where it's currently located right here here's the mainland and there it is out over the southern caribbean and it's going to be moving off to the west northwest all right here is its forecast and here it is where it is where we currently stand with 98L, and as we move on down to about 100 and to the uh, 60 hours, go out about 60 hours, it's going to be a tropical storm, but we're going to see that guy soar through at least Category 3 hurricane strength, so it's pretty much rest assured going to reach a Category 3, potentially Category 4 hurricane, so Category 3, we're going to be looking at winds in excess of 115 miles per hour to about 140 miles per hour, then it will be Category, we'll be talking about a Category 4 hurricane, once those winds actually exceed 130 miles per hour so uh, potentially dangerous situation the state of Florida need to pay close attention to this hurricane or potential hurricane there and we pretty much think it's going to be a hurricane but Florida has to pay close attention especially there for Tampa St. Petersburg and all the way up to say Tallahassee I think it's probably a better bet but there's a chance that it could go a little bit to the left, maybe hit Mobile or Louisiana or even Gulfport, Mississippi. Or it can make a more sharp return to the right and hit South Florida. So maybe Fort Myers and Naples. So there's a pretty wide area that it could affect here over the next several, over the next week that's coming up. It's going to be kind of a slow mover too as it moves off across and into the Gulf of Mexico. All right. Here's that storm track. 
there is off the coast of South America, and it's going to make its way to the northwest, make a little bit jog a little bit further to the west in about 48 hours, and we see that barometric pressure is going to drop to about 1,006, but we're going to see our storm take a, a turn to the north, so it's going to really... Uh, it, the, the models get a little bit confused as we get out through past 120 hours. So um, that track is going to need some fine tuning. So it's going to be a lot of changes. It's not set in stone to exactly where this storm is going to end up. But based on the current conditions in the Gulf of Mexico, the most likely track, once things get kind of finalized over time, is going to be somewhere between Tampa, St. Petersburg, and the Florida Panhandle. So that's going to be our bullseye region that I'm going to be watching out for. And you guys in Florida need to be watching out and paying close attention to the status of Hurricane Hermine. All right, here's a look at our... And we got something here. I'm not quite sure what this is. I don't think I, this is probably an invest somewhere else, and this is, oh no, <laughs> I forgot about our storm in the Pacific. This is Newton. This is our tropical storm, Newton, out in the Pacific. I forgot about him because he's out there, and he ain't bothering nobody. He's like, I ain't gonna hurt nobody. He's out in the middle of nowhere out there, just off the coast of Mexico, headed to the west, where it's going to weaken and become extra tropical in about three or four days. And here we are with Newton's track. As it's going to go up to the west, northwest there. And it's going to be mainly out over the open water. So shipping interest is the only things that have to be concerned about Newton. And there we go. Here's a look at our forecast from the GFS for about the next 120 hours. There is our hurricane from Vermont. From Fiona, there is Fiona, and then here is our Hermine as it comes into the Gulf of Mexico. And then we have a couple of other tropical waves out here. Here is another tropical storm that's going to be out. Uh, her, this actually going to be a, a Category Three hurricane. This is going to be another major hurricane out over the open waters. But you see this area of high pressure. It's going to dance around that area of high pressure and get sheared apart as you can see and then we have another tropical wave that's also going to be hanging out close to the african coast there so that guy is not going to be of any impact anywhere else in the in the atlantic uh in the for foreseeable future all right here's your weather forecast now that we've talked about those hurricanes here we go as we talk about your forecast on the mainland over the next two days. This is your Friday outlook and our weather chart. Here's our monsoons across the southwest. So Phoenix, Tucson, Albuquerque, you can see an afternoon thunderstorm. But if you're a better chance is in the mountains, so if you're in a higher elevation, Mount Lemon, you have a better chance, or the Muggy on Rim out there, you have a better shot of seeing a monsoon storm. But I would give up hope if you're in the big cities yet either. But we have our frontal boundary that's going to be coming through the Midwest and through the Northern Plains, headed to the east. So it's going to spread thunderstorms through Minnesota, down to Missouri, and through portions of Kansas and uh, Nebraska, as well as the eastern Dakotas. We can see some scattered showers and thunderstorms. No severe weather is expected with this. But we're going to see non-thunderstorm non rain through portions of the Corn Belt and into the Ohio Valley as well on your Wednesday. Cool, dry weather across the northeast. Beautiful temperatures. Perfect fall weather. Nice, cool breezes out there in the northeast. Going to be a little bit warm across the southeast and along the Gulf Coast, our 80s and 90s, especially over here in Texas. We're going to see those 90s, and a random 100 might pop up, and we're going to be seeing those 80s and lower 90s in the desert southwest. Nice, cool weather in the Pacific Northwest and across the northern Rockies and the high plains as well. We're going to see those temperatures in the 50s and 60s and some 40s in the mountains out there. And as we move into your Friday, no, Saturday, we're going to have a beautiful day for the most part Friday. 
not too turbulent weather out there. So there will be some showers and thunderstorms for some areas on your Saturday as well. And that's going to mostly be in the Great Lakes of Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, as well as Michigan can see those showers and thunderstorms down through the Ohio Valley, extreme eastern Pennsylvania, and even through Kentucky, Tennessee, and the northern Gulf states. We could see uh, maybe a shower or storm or two moving to that area as far back as the Ozarks in East Texas and eastern Oklahoma. So McAllister and Texarkana, Little Rock, we're going to be seeing those showers and the potential for some thunderstorms for your Saturday. And that warm weather will continue across the southeast and the Gulf Coast out ahead of that front. But you'll see things cool off when that front passes uh, later in the weekend and early next week. Uh, we'll see cooler weather through the Plains states for your Saturday as well and across the Rockies and the High Plains. But, however, the West Coast, we might see a little bit of a warm-up as we're going to be on the back side of that ridge of high pressure. So we're going to be picking up a southerly flow. So we might see temperatures warm up a bit toward the Pacific Northwest on your Saturday as we're going to have dry weather the entire length of the West Coast out there. All right, guys, that's all pretty much that I have for tonight. Remember that hurricane, a potentially very dangerous situation, is going to be developing in the Gulf of Mexico as we move into the weekend and through next week. So about maybe Wednesday or Thursday or next week, uh, Hurricane Hermine, or Hermine, I'm not sure which way they're going with this. I think it's Hermine, the Herman, the Spanish, because these, a lot of take on the Spanish verbiage in these hurricane names because of where they come from so that is certainly going to be something that we are going to watch carefully all right that's it for tonight guys see you all later in the next video Bye bye